Hi, it's me again, I guess. <laughs> um, I didn't make a video last Sunday because I was procrastinating way too much on my other things that I have to do for school, but I went somewhere really interesting yesterday. I went to see Aubrey de Grey, Dr. Aubrey de Grey in the Academy of Sciences yesterday in Manhattan. And I really want to tell everybody about it because it's an extremely interesting topic about what he was talking about. He's talking about stopping aging. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> stopping getting old and getting Alzheimer's. And I know, it sucks because eventually the 14 year olds like me are going to, hopefully not, you know, but it seems that we'll have to suffer all those horrible things. So, his idea is let's not do that, let's stop that entire aging thing, it's, it's kind of annoying, it's really not fun, let's not do that. So, he's working on it, and he's working on it for a while, and he has a bunch of theories on how to stop aging, so that when we're like 40, we could look like we're 20, and that we could basically live till we're like 350 years old, or even older, you know, like die whatever you want, basically, if you don't get run over by buses, or murdered, or whatever. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's not really funny. Um, I want to try to explain what he was saying yesterday in the Academy of Sciences. Um, it was a bit complicated, a bit more than a bit complicated, because he's obviously freaking from Cambridge, Dr. Aubrey de Grey, from Cambridge dude, you know, really educated, and I have not even finished high school, just started two weeks ago. So, of course, it was a bit hard for me. But what I got from it was that where okay there are these processes that make you old and why does your body break down you know why does it so basically you have this metabolism right everything has metabolism and it makes bad and good stuff and eventually the good stuff could become bad stuff and basically damage your body so <laughs> yeah the metabolism thing is so complicated that even Dr. Robert DeGray said that it's going to take way too long to try to figure out the entire thing. We really haven't, we don't understand it, like, at all. It's way too complicated. We don't know the metabolism, what's going on. So, he has a new idea, a different idea, how to tackle this aging thing. It's to stop the damage that you're getting. Because metabolism leads to damage. But let's just stop the damage part. Um, and so he was talking about how the cells get damaged. There are different ways that the cells get damaged. Um, sometimes... They get stuff inside them, and they don't know how to get those that stuff out, and it all gets clogged up inside, and it keeps adding on more, and they try to get rid of it, and that stuff gets inside the cell, and the cell stops working properly, and all the other cells stop working properly because stuff gets in them, and and that cell has to do with that cell, and all this crazy stuff happens, which eventually makes you old and die. So he's working on a bunch of different things that like one of his ideas was well, the problem that I talked about because there's a lot of different cell problems that a lot of different ways cells get bad um, was to get like the special bacteria that can get that bad cell that's clogging up your cell it could go and get rid of it it could swallow it up and it could like I guess digest it so you know to put that basically that, that bacteria in your body that will go inside your cells and get rid of that stuff for you so that you won't get old of course, this process with the entire, after they figured it out, he estimates that in 30 years, this stuff, this stuff could be all figured out. Which means, since I'm 14 now, by 2040, by 20, I'll be, I'll be 44 when it happens, I could get this procedure done, which is awesome. Of course, it's going to cost a lot of money, obviously, <laughs> you know, but that'd be really cool. He says that you would have to, though, do it a lot, like, do it about every 40 years, something like that, so that, you know, because after you do the process, you're going to start aging again. You know, you have to get back to where you were before. And, yeah, that was what he was saying. And it was super interesting. And, surprisingly, I understood most of what he was talking about, but when people started asking questions, like the people who were there in the Academy of Sciences, it's a really beautiful building, really modern, really beautiful. People who were there freaking asking questions like, what will thermodynamics do for this or something? You know, of course he said there are problems with it, like, you know, if everybody could live forever, well not forever, but like for a really long time, then overpopulation, you know, we'll still be having babies and stuff, so like, we'll be, we'll be using up our resources like crazy. So, I mean, basically he's, he's not really worried about that too much right now, 
like first get the technology done, then we'll worry about how to control who lives, whatever. So, but there was a lot of questions by a lot of really smart, cool people, and it was really cool though. Dr. Aubrey de Grey is a really cool dude. Um, he talked to everybody after, and I think you should really check them out. And another thing I'm going to say before I end this video, five minutes, I know, seriously, um, is that you should check out a website called TED.com. It's about spreading new ideas. It's where you have um, videos of really famous, really intelligent people giving lectures of really new and wonderful ideas. And uh, seriously, after watching these videos, it feels like you gain IQ points. No joke. Like, they're really, really wonderful ideas and stuff that's going on right now. Really, really cool website, really smart people. The videos can range from three minutes long to, like, an hour long. So beware when you look at the time thing if you have to do your homework. So that's what I have to say. And I really want want to know what everybody thinks about this idea and this theory because I'm so excited about it. I'm really, I really want it to happen. And leave a comment. I mean, like, what do you think about it? Especially if you're like 14 like me and this stuff could actually be a reality. Okay, see you.